as you guys welcome another episode of asfn thank you guys so much for liking our videos and also subscribing to the channel we really do appreciate all the support that you're giving us and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and for the guys that don't know about one voice um, one voice is a uh, online uh, partition where we need 100,000 views 100,000 applications to go through um, so we can have an appeal to start fishing again as recreation anglers so if you guys haven't checked it out go to www.asfmfishing.com uh, click on one voice fill in the application it's straightforward it's going to ask you for your id number it's safe a lot of us have done it already so yeah just fill in the details and uh, get your vote in so we all can go back and start fishing again soon today i'm going to be talking about gunter well the bait that we actually use for gunter it's a simple bait it's a red eye belly with uh, two white prawns uh, white prawns you can either get from at Camarine or your local tax shops to stock it uh, if not you can actually go and net them in the estuaries white prawn is an excellent excellent bait not only for grunter but for other fish as well but um, the grunter down the south coast yeah projection seem to love it especially with a red eye belly uh, the fresher the bait the better so keep in mind fresh bait always works best and uh, yeah you can, you can catch anything on the bait basically but uh, grunter love it they really love it especially the size you can get grunter from about that big up to about a five kilo on it so yeah a lot of other guys combo their baits with other things but this is what actually works down here on the south coast that's working well for us so you guys should give it a try in your area and uh, let's see if it works for you guys as well so let's get on to the bait all right guys this is the bait that i actually use for grunter and uh, one red eye two white prawns that I actually use. Um, basically, what we actually do is we take the red eye and we use the belly only. Keep in mind, this is not fresh bait. It's been in my freezer for a while, ever since the lockdown. But obviously, fresh bait works best. So, I always try to use fresh bait. So, I'm just gonna cut the head here quickly. Put that one side. Then I'm gonna cut the belly in an angle. this one side now that I have the belly there what I do is I take the guts out first place that one side and then I split the belly in half for meat it's a little frozen perfect just like that right then what I do I take my hook I get back my hook quickly as a gem. Okay, basically the hook that I'm using is a 4-0 mustard ring soy. I'm using Dean Reddy's technique of the braid uh, and your split ring or your your fast loop, whatever it is that you're actually using to cast with. But uh, yeah, thanks Dean for that tip. Uh, I'm sure it's going to really help me a lot. So you take your belly, one section first, hook it through. Okay, my cotton quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna cotton this up without getting my <laughs> split ring there. Get out a bit. Now, what I noticed with Granta, especially down here on the south coast. We don't fish very big baits for them. They tend to like the thin, long, juicy baits. So that's what we actually do. We don't use a whole sardine and stuff. We use these types of baits. Take the one belly, take the next one, place it on the side. Do the exact same thing. Should have put a swivel on that line there. And then just gently bind that on. As you can see, this thing's got a lot of juices. A lot of flavor. I love fishing with red eye. <laughs> you can catch anything with a red eye too. Okay, just loosen that up. Then I take my belly. 
place it on the back all the guts and just tie that up now guys we're so used of standing and beating up <laughs> when you're on the beach sitting is actually quite difficult so I'm trying my best Half hitch, half hitch, pull that through. Okay, let me get this cotton off my hands. Okay, that on its own is a deadly bait for Ganta. But what we noticed down here on the south coast, down in Pajepson, using pink prawn, I know pink prawn, white prawn works magic when you're comboing it with baits. And we got a lot of lot of bites on these white prawns. Um, Adcam stocks them. Uh, that's actually the only place we get them from, or we net them uh, in the estuary itself. So I'm just gonna chop the head off there quickly. Deshell it. Just cut off this. Okay, even it up a bit. One front, do the same with the next one. As you can see, it's a small bit, it's not a big bit. But trust me, you get big grunt on this. You really get big grunt on this. You love this bit. You can use it in the HD as well. Uh, we use it both HD and surf. Obviously, when you're fishing in the HD, we just scale down a button on the hooks, so we're fishing much more lighter. Okay, you butterfly those prongs, take your cotton, just gonna get this off that there quickly. Sorry guys. Okay, you take one prong on the one side, cotton it up. Believe me when I say this, Grunter love this bait. Okay, take your next prawn on the other side. Just take a look at all the juices. Perfect. Even it up a bit. Turns, couple half inches. If this red eye was only fresh, it would be blood red. But that's a bait we guys use when we're targeting Granta down on the south coast, Jepson area especially, and it gives us the best results. Like Dean Reddy's uh, trick with the split ring. A bit of braid onto your hook to help you cast far. That's there, nice and free. So thank you again, Dean. Really appreciate the tip you gave us. And yeah, guys, that's my bait. Hope you guys try it. Hope you enjoy it. And tight lines. Hope you guys catch something big on it. Cheers.